We are moving through perimenopause, menopause, hormones are crazy changing. That is enough. Those hormonal fluctuations are enough to turn on the Hashimoto switch. So Hashimoto's autoimmune form of hypothyroidism, low and slow thyroid, it's where your body is attacking your thyroid gland and the thyroid just can't produce enough hormone on its own. 95% of all hypothyroidism is Hashimoto. So we have to look at, okay, what is flipping this switch? What is turning on the Hashimoto's? We know that hormonal changes are a huge stressor on the body. This is why we'll see Hashimoto's Hashimoto's quite often after a woman is pregnant. She'll say, you know what, after I had my second kid, I went to hell in a handbasket, all the symptoms came on. And that was the hormonal fluctuation during pregnancy. But we see the same thing happen in perimenopause and menopause with hormonal fluctuations. And Sarah Godfrey, I give her credit for this term, she used the term thyropause. Yes, that's it. Because once you move into menopause, there's a 90% chance that you're going to have a thyroid problem to go right along with it. So you really need to be addressing both thyroid and hormones at the same time as you're entering perimenopause and menopause.